Hey again YouTubers, this is a review of the Wild Rose Brightening Serum for the Face and the Eyes by Kors. You guys have seen this in one of my most recent hauls. Um, it's a really cool product. If you see, it's a serum. It just comes out, you just need, you mix it in with your foundation. Um, but if you see, it's just really smooth. Just a really nice finish to it. Um, a couple people asked me, I, I was told to use this. What happened was I was in the store and I was looking at Coors and talking about Coors Foundation, the Wild Rose that I use, and the girl said, oh, have you tried the serum? And I was like, nope, haven't tried it. And she's like, just put a squirt of this in with your foundation and it'll give you the most illuminating finish. And I said, well, Coors already does that for me. Like, do I really need that? And she's like, trust me. She's like, it's amazing. And it is amazing. But here's my problem with it. If you put this in and you have combination skin or oily skin, I have combination skin, about halfway through the day, you start getting oily. Doesn't work in that manner. Sorry. If you have dry skin, this stuff would be to die for. If you have, you know, that skin that is kind of on the combination but more of the dry side, you don't have any real oily areas, this stuff would be phenomenal. Um, I tried it one day without a primer got really oily so I said well maybe it's because I didn't put my primer on put my primer on still got oily so and um, this is $28 at Sephora um, and unfortunately it doesn't work for me now people did say to me well can you use that stuff with any other foundations so just to give you an idea I did try it I tried it with my Chanel Pro Luminaire and I tried it with my Mac Studio Sculpt the Studio Sculpt it made it cakey. It, it didn't work with this at all. It did it just didn't blend well for some reason. Um, with the Chanel, it worked the same as with the Coors. It gave a great finish in the beginning. I was like, oh, this is awesome. And about halfway through the day, it got oily and I had to apply powder. So my personal opinion is that I prefer the Coors on its own. I prefer the Chanel on its own. Um, this stuff would be great if you have dry skin. This would be awesome. But if you don't have dry skin, guys, you don't need this with these foundations. These foundations already have a great sheen to them. Um, this, to me, just makes my skin look oily halfway through the day. So that's my review on the Wild Rose Brightening Serum by Kors. Um, if you have any other questions about this product, please put them below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day. Bye.